All right, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing super, super great today. I wanted to do something that I'm not quite, I don't think I've ever done what I want to do today on this channel in particular, but I wanted to try it and I hope that this is something that can motivate you to just want to pick up a palette knife, no brushes, and just make a painting. They're not always going to come out great, they're not going to be these big old masterpieces, but, but the process of making it, it genuinely can give you like a really nice feeling that can just kind of make the day go a little bit better and that's kind of what I'm focusing on here today. So I wanted to use a palette knife only and just make a painting, maybe a forest or something like that. So stick around for a second. Let's go ahead and uh, get started with today's video. I'm glad that you guys are here. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and just do all that stuff. This has been one hell of a journey. I have my good days and I have my bad days, but just know that this here, what I'm doing, um, this always leads to the good days. And if I could just relay that to you, I feel like my job is done. So leave me a comment below, whatever you gotta do. I just, I just want you to give this a try. That's, that's really every video I say the same thing because I'm very sincere about what I'm doing. And I think a lot of you, I think you can sense that. So um, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the canvas I have here is 18 by 24. You're gonna see some crazy designs on here. Don't let that throw you off in any way. This is actually just an old canvas that I had a sketch. It's actually upside down right now. But I had sketched out some things on it a while, actually a long while ago when I was gonna try that attempt or that technique of sketching first. Totally wasn't interested in it, so it just sat like this. So I thought it would be a good canvas just to cover up, cover up all this old, old sketch. So I have all the same colors that I always use. They will be in the description below. Um, and I'm gonna be using uh, some clear gel today um, to kind of mix the paints. It'll help it flow a little bit better rather than if you were just gonna put dry paint up here um, or just oil paint without anything in it. Um, the gel really, really will help things flow. All right, that's the gel right there. All right, you're gonna hear a lot of scraping today. Um, yeah, all right, okay. So I'm not gonna put the gel on first. I'm gonna mix it with the paint, actually. So I'm gonna go down here and get started on that. I'm gonna scoop up some white, and I want this super light light blue color, maybe with a touch of like red in it, just to maybe give me a purple color. And I'll mix some gel inside that. Now, I don't, I don't know, I don't think I've ever really done this. I've painted with my hands before. Um, but like I said a minute ago, you know, don't let this discourage you. You know, just have fun doing it, you know. Just have fun doing, you know, making the actual uh, picture. All right, so I'm just going to scrape some of this stuff around here. You can do like little circles if you want. I was originally thinking about putting, you know, putting the background on with a brush first, but I thought that would actually take, take the fun out. So, not going to do that. All right. All right. So, I'm just going to continue doing this, S scraping some color around. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to plan it out as I go. I'm not just throwing random colors up here. I want to start, I want this to be like the center area here. And then I want it to get darker as I go towards the edges. So, I'm just down here mixing up a little bit more blue and red to get a little bit more of a violet color, hopefully. And throwing some gel into that. And the gel really does help a lot. It really helps. All right, got a nice violet color here. So work on the edges a little bit. And as I go out, it's gonna get darker. That's the, that's the plan. It's gonna get kind of darker. Hopefully, this will be a nice bright area when we're all done but we will just have to see. The good thing about the knife is you can really get quick coverage on this painting, on the canvas. You can really spread paint around very, very good. Very quickly, yeah, it works. All right, now I'm gonna be doing a lot of mixing down here today, so getting some more blue, some more red, that's actually super dark. All 
I just thought it would be fun to do this. I know when I painted uh, with my using just my hands, that was actually super fun. I like that a lot, and you know I have to do another video on that. And some of these colors, I'm actually going to put a little touch of black in just to kind of gray them down, just so they look a little bit more. I'm not even sure the word I'm looking for. Now this is an extreme dark color. See that there? I'm going to put some of that over here, and I'll show you in just a minute how I'll work this in. And do not get confused. I don't want to talk to you like I have experience or like I know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging this one today. I really just felt in the mood to make something. All right. A lot of scraping. Now I am going to go, I see some of that pencil showing through, so I'm going to come back here real quick and get a little bit more of our white and blue. Uh, put that right in here somewhere. All right. And I'm going to continue, I'm actually going to use uh, a lighter color here to try to, to blend this together, the dark and the light. So I'm going to come in here with a little bit of a lighter color. All right, do the same thing here. Now this, I know this looks like crap, but just have a little faith, you know what I mean? All right, so now I'm going to do this here. I'm just going to start trying to, and I haven't put my darkest colors in yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. All right, do some of this here. Just kind of working. You could pick some of this color up, see, like this. Scrape some off, move it over here, like this. And when you pick some of the color up like this and move it over, you're reducing the you know amount of paint that's on here, which is probably a good thing. Um, knife paintings, you're generally going to use a lot more a lot more paint than than you would if you're using a brush. And I'm see how I'm going back and forth like this. I'm trying to have different designs and different angles and stuff like that because you don't want you don't want this on the whole canvas. You want you want different stuff, I think. I want different stuff. Come up here, see, take some of that color there. I have a little bit of a glare here to my left, so I may have to back up every so often. Hopefully you don't see the glare. It's because I have this big old bright light in here. See, I'm just moving this paint. Just like that. All right, I'm going to actually take uh, just some straight up blue and just mix that with a little bit of our base color here and maybe a touch of black. Do some of this here. This may look good. I probably could have used a smaller canvas since I've never done this before, but it seems like I like painting on bigger surfaces. Um, I've noticed that recently when I opened the shop, uh, one of my favorite things that I did was the walls. I painted the walls. It, it just felt, it felt very natural to me. I liked it a lot. And that was really the first time that I ever uh, made a painting so large before. So, it's probably why I chose a larger canvas today. All right, now. Now, even though this is boring, all right, I'm still, I'm not going to skip the video at all. I'm not going to fast forward. 
or anything like that. I'm just going to get in here and just continue scraping like this just so you can see the process. You could do little circles like I was saying earlier. All right, and don't worry about covering every little bit of the canvas, all of the white. Don't worry about that because you're going to I'm going to have other elements in here, too. So I'm not too not too worried about that. All right, let's come up here. Pick some of this paint up. See that right there? I think that's a pretty handy little method right there. Pick it up and put it somewhere else. Take some from this side here, see? Some of this dark and then whoop, pop it right in the corner. And you're, you're probably going to need a sturdier easel to do this. You're going to want to, you know, have a nice sturdy easel so it's not sliding all over the table. so far. <laughs> it looks horrible. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not worried about it. All right. I'm just taking some blue, black, and red. A little bit of blue, black, and red. I'm just going to darken this just a little bit here. You don't have to do a full forest painting if you know if you don't want. You could do something much easier. All right. See, I'm rubbing in little circles, and then I'm and then I'm scraping. I got to put some lighter color up here, so I'm going to grab some white, some gel, and then a little bit of blue, I suppose. Okay. Drop in some of that, just like that. Kind of globbing it on, and then I'm working it around. See, okay. I'm gonna scrape it like I was earlier, and this kind of just really helps blend the colors together. It makes it look a little bit more natural, not so harsh of an edge. Pick up some paint, do the little circles like this. Maybe these are going to be some background little trees hanging out over the edge, some leaves. Yeah, something like this. Very, very background stuff. Okay, now, I want to try to make this look a little bit more smooth inside here, maybe, just a little bit. It's a knife painting. It's not supposed to be, you know, perfectly blended, so. dropping in some little lines that could be maybe some background trees and stuff like that super far back. Okay. I just have to get used to using all this paint because I normally I normally don't use a lot of paint like this here. <coughs> all right, I need some of this purple color here. So I'm going to get some I'm going to get some blue and some red. 
blue, red, and some white and some of our gel. And I want to get this color, it's a little bit more dark than what's above, and that's cool. Just want to get this in here. Okay. Just getting some more here. A lot of paint mixing here. Tons of that. But be patient, you know. So I'm thinking about um, how this is going to run. I, maybe this is going to be water. So I'm just trying to get the basic shape in. It's going to come out like this. And it's going to come off of this edge here, hopefully. If everything works out good. So I'm actually going to start doing, I'm going to pull down. And whatever I don't want to be water, I'll just, I'll just get rid of it. You know, I'll cover it with something, a piece of land or whatever. Okay, let's go a little darker over here. And I'm, I'm pulling down because I'm not quite sure why I'm pulling down, but I'm thinking maybe that'll look better when you pull across like this, like you would with a brush. See all this, all this paint that's on here right now? That's, that's awesome because I could put this over here like this. Okay. And that's that. All right, so this is just our area right here. where water might be, all right? All right, so now let me have a look at this real quick. I'm thinking, let me see how this looks here. If I scrape a little bit of this off. I know I put background trees in there. But I'm actually um, having no experience with this. I'm thinking about layering, you know, more paint on top. It, sh it probably won't be too bad. But the more you scrape off, I don't know, maybe it's going to be better. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Maybe because we have light here, let's just do this. I'm just dropping some of this color here. And I don't know if this is going to look like a reflection or not, but we will certainly find out. Hmm. All right. take a step back real quick and have a look at this. All right, so now I want to, I may jump back and forth, foreground, background, all that. So let me do this. Let me get some green and yellow ochre and a touch of like brown color mixed with a little bit of our yeah, gel, just a tiny bit. And I'm thinking about just some green, well, it's not really a green color, but I'm thinking about, let's see here, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just going to do it. I don't want to put in, I guess, too many details just yet because I need to save that stuff for the front, you know, but I'm going to drop some of this color in.
just like this. And just kind of see, get a feel for it is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of getting a feel, you know, for how everything, you know, how the paint feels. I feel like I need to darken this up over here. So let me wipe off my knife and go back to, let me put a little green in that color actually. I feel like I need to darken this right here. Some green, start showing a little green mixture in there. I'm, I'm really scrubbing here super hard. Seems like if you scrape this a little bit, carefully scrape it, it kind of pushes everything back. And then you can go over top of it. And then it looks a little further away or something, you know. I don't know. Could be wrong. It <laughs> could be wrong. All right, let's put, before we go too crazy, let's put in some like tree, uh, tree trunks of some sort here. So I'm going to use blue, I'm going to use blue, brown, and white. Blue, brown, white. A little bit more brown. I just want like a gray, bluey brown color. For like a more distant type of a, a tree. Let me try to just do this. In there, drop one in here, maybe one back there like this. All right, and then I'll just use the the point of the knife. I don't want to make too many details, so if they get if it looks too detailed, I'll probably scrape it, most likely. All right. Let me move that color out of the way. Wipe. I keep wiping the knife off over here on this paper towel. <clears throat> and I also keep stepping back to look at this. All right, let me try to do a soft little scrape. Okay, not bad, not bad. But you're probably impatient just like me so let's do this let's take some brown and green and blue all right let's take those colors here and then let's start to do something like this start getting in some of the areas that would like hold the water in and covered. There's going to be a reflection here. All right, there's one area there. I got to raise this up a little bit. So there's some ground back here too. Let's just get that going. There's a lot of paint on here. I'm going to come back here and just kind of tighten up this little lake or whatever river, whatever this thing is here. Sort of shape it. See that? You kind of give it a shape. All right, let's get a little darker color. Blue, black. Blue, black. And make a little, little hill in here somewhere. All right, something like that. And then we can move over to the other side. Same old uh, dark color. I'll fix this back here in a minute, but I want to put in a little thing right there. See that? And I'm not, I haven't mixed any gel into this color. I'm just putting this color down. So, all right, 
So I want this to come in like this. I want it to come around like this. And then I actually want it to come like this. So I'm trying to like rub it in with the knife of what I want to do. So I need some more green. I got paint all over me. So let me wipe that off real quick. I would probably wear gloves if this if it's your first time doing it. I mean, I, I should have worn gloves. All right. All right, here we go. Blocking it in. Dark color, blue, black, and green. Just get it in there. Cover this, get the, you know, get the white off of the canvas. And that'll make you feel better. Let's get some blue in here. All right, now I'm going to try to scrape some of this lighter color off here. Just a little bit of it. Yeah, I'm just going to wipe that off, actually. Just so we can remain to have that nice, dark feel in the foreground. All right. Remember, this comes like this. Okay. And you can go like this. You can, you can scrape some off, see? Do this. Take some from that side there. Hmm. Actually seems like it's really spreading pretty good. It's just filling the, uh, the grain of the canvas. All right. Then you can always come back and just add, you know, more add more color to it, highlights, this and that. That's why I said don't worry too much about, you know, filling the canvas up with uh, every little spot in the canvas. All right. I think we need some bushes here. So let's get the, see the best way to do this, probably the tip of the knife. Maybe little tapping marks or whatever. Just, just little indications of something that'll look like a bush. Don't have to be perfect. See? Seems pretty fun so far. So far. All right. Let's do, let me move some of my color out of the way here. Let me get some yellow. Nice light purpley yellow color, like a dull yellow green actually. And put in some, you know, stuff here maybe. This could be, uh, you know, little background leaves or whatever. Could be whatever you want it to be, really. Just getting that color in there. Flip the knife. I like using the point of the knife because you have better control. You can feather the edges out. You see how I'm doing that? When you feather something out, I feel like it makes it feel like it's further, definitely way further away. All right, got a little bit of that o yellow ochre color that we put in there earlier. All right. All right, so we got some of that there. Maybe put a little, uh, little highlights on our bushes here. So I'm just going to carefully just like kind of graze over these dark areas. See, <clears throat> it's probably the best easiest way to, to do a quick little highlight on these little bushes or whatever these things are. And then if you get a straight spot like that, you just kind of use the point of the knife. All right. And you can like 
slowly and carefully graze across like this. It'll, it'll end up maybe looking like background material. All right. I think probably it's probably a good time to work on like you know trees that are a little closer. All right, so let me get some brown. Like that grayish brown color and a little blue in there is good. We'll save the darkest brown for probably up close. All right, let's see, where do we want a tree? I want one to come right here maybe? No, I'll, I'll, st I'll start here. I'm just sliding the knife down, see? Just like this. And then you can always fix here. Don't worry about, don't worry about that right there. All right, let's add a few of these in here. So one there, you know what? Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll put one right next to it. Just like this, put one there. And these aren't gonna be perfect trees. Trust me on that one. These are not gonna be perfect trees. Here's a bigger one. All right, one there. And then if you get this big edge in the back, you know, you could just kind of come back with the knife, you know, go over top of it like this. Or you can use the small edge and smooth it. That's kind of what, you know, what I'm doing now. All right, so you got one there like that. Let's put a few more over in here. And as I get closer, I'm gonna darken the brown a little bit, put a little black in it, and less of that blue color. All right, let's put one here. Maybe this is just a hair closer. All right. Goes right in front like that. And let's just add one or two more. Put some, maybe some little smaller ones back here like this. Some of these might not really show too good, but they're going to be there. All right. <coughs> I keep stepping back, so. And I'm trying not to make this too complicated. I want it to be a knife painting, but I want it to be a basic painting. You know what I mean? All right, back to some of these colors here. Let's see, these are some of our dark greens. All right, just gonna smooth out some of these areas here. Like this, boom. Get some black and some blue. A Little bit of green. Let's cover up just a couple of those areas right there. A lot of textures, good. Be prepared to use a lot of paint when you do this. All right. All right, so there we have that. Okay, now let's do, make some room here on the palette. All right, so we're gonna need to have a green, nice green and yellow. Now, if you heard what I was saying, I, I haven't really used any of the gel except for the background. So that's kind of up to you what you want to do with it. If you want to use it or not, I, I haven't. I used it for the background. It helped get the initial layer of paint down, and that was it. All right, so now I'm, I just mixed up a real nice green color. And I'm thinking I should probably have mixed a darker green color first, but I want to try something here. I just want to put just little impressions of like leaves, okay, up here like this. See how this looks first. And then we can always do the darker, darker green after. I just kind of want to spot around, you know, tap with the point of the knife like this. All right, we can put some darker colors, you know, coming back here like that. All right, so I'm gonna, for that, I'm going to just take a nice blue and maybe a little yellow. That'll give us a, a nice dark green. 
All right. Let's see how this looks. And then for over here, yeah. You just kind of see. I'm just kind of spreading this color around. All right, pushing with the knife. <clears throat> Let's get some black and blue into that color, make it even darker. And then we can come right over here like this. And you'll have to forgive me, I can barely uh, see this side of the canvas right here. So I'm kind of doing this part blind because I don't want to stand you know, right in the way. some dark red right up against uh, some of our light colors. Hopefully that, you know, will really help, uh, you know, stuff stand out, little leaves or whatever. Have a few little dark spots here. All right. All right. Put some in here, just wherever. I'll say it again, I don't want it to be some real complicated uh, thing. I just I really just want to have fun, you know. I make these uh, YouTube videos, but I'm human. I just, I just want to have some fun. All right, I'm going to scrape up an area here real quickly. Wipe my knife off, and I want to get me some, some nice white paint and some yellow. And I want to try something. Just white and yellow. Nice old color. And I just want to, I do want to put a little couple things of, you know, yellow in here. Maybe these could be little leaves or whatever. All right, little, you know, tapping is probably good. Maybe a few here, like this, just on some of the areas. here and there. All right. Okay, let me move that out of the way. And while I'm thinking about it, I do have some of this yellow ochre color. Uh, it's like a grayed yellow ochre. I'm going to mix some white into it. And I want to put a little uh, highlight on this tree, and maybe some here on this one too. And some here, and just some there. They don't have to be perfect. All right, here we go. Let's, all right, let's start working a little bit with our foreground here. So let me take this actually, scrape it. All right. just doing this to look like a somewhat of a reflection all right it's not going to be perfect and let's start working in this area here <clears throat> all right so time to get some some green and some yellow ochre lighten that up a little bit maybe and start putting in some mid-tones a few little mid-tones maybe see how this looks. So our light's coming in here. All right, so I'm going to just drop in a nice color, just like this. And let's hit some over here, too. Now, this is a, a mid-tone. You know, we'll come back and uh, put in some nice brighter colors. I'm going to change this color up a little bit with some yellow ochre, just so it's not the same old color everywhere. All right, put some there like this. 
drop some over here. And bring it right back. Make this look like a hill. I love doing this. You just kind of pull downward. Same thing over here. Keep it dark in the bottom corner. That'll help with an illusion. All right, I'm just wiping my knife off. Let me grab some pure yellow with some, there's a little green in there and that's okay. No gel or nothing like that. I'm not using any kind of gel. Just putting some color in the areas where I think maybe the, uh, you know, the light might catch. Put some back here, just a little bit. Kind of helps identify where the ground is and all that stuff, that there's still some kind of, a, you know, land going on back here. Maybe there's, this hill goes right in front of this tree, just like this. And the more you scrape it in, the, you know, the nice and the darker it'll get. And I'm going to put a little bit less of a vibrant color on this over here and make this look like something different. I don't know, little taps. Maybe this is a whole other little tree back here or something. I don't know. See? It goes all the way up. All right, and then because we just did that, I better put just a little bit of dark in here, see? All right, something like that. Just kind of closes that corner in. Okay, let's get some black and some blue and sort of do, you know, something similar on this corner here. All right, just to kind of, I don't want to say frame it in, but I don't know, maybe it'll do something over here. mixed with some green and some blue and maybe a little white in this one. We'll come right here, just drop a little bit on. You know, maybe there's some little weeds here, right? See? They just kind of hang around. something like that. Now we got to get a darker color for over here for this corner. So I'm going to take some of the same color, mix it in with our grayed out color that we had and that seems like it should be okay. So I'm going to come in here and then just kind of just drop some of this like this and just figure out, you know, maybe this land drops down like this. Comes right down. This is really fun to do. Um, you know, if you're not like worried about, you know, making this big masterpiece or, or whatever, if you're not worried about that, then I would recommend, I would recommend to do this. I mean, just, just do it for the fun of, fun of doing it. Um, that's, that's the only reason I'm really doing it, you know. Um, it, it seems fun, you know, and it's something to do. It's very impressionistic. And I better grab a little bit more white because I didn't realize I was going to use that much white. So let me just spray some white out real quick there. I want to put some highlights on here. Just some nice bright color. So before I do that, let me just, I gotta, you got, you're going to have to constantly uh, clean your palette off, clean nice you know, areas off to 
to have a nice clean color. So here I have some, some super bright yellow, yellow and white. Let's put a touch of green in that. All right, lights here, lights here. Let's, once again, let's just hit it here like this, see? Like that. Uh, maybe just a little bit here. And then let's go over here and drop a nice big old bright one there. Comes down. Maybe this side is actually catching some before it, before it drops down this little hill here. All right. And then you can always rotate back to a darker, a darker color, yellow ochre and green, and do this. Just you know, a little bit of this here and there. I would keep it dark in the corners, just my opinion though. All right, let's see, let me step back. <clears throat> going to do wipe this off real quick and then I'm just going to grab some white and blue I guess I don't know if this is the right color we'll find out um, white blue maybe a touch of the green this is just like a very very gray color which is fine and I want to come in here I don't want that to be too bright but I want it to be you know, some form of a little water line, I guess. And I got to be careful on this side here. Put a few little little ripples in here, I suppose. You can do that. Uh, and this kind of wraps around like that. I got to do one thing here. I'm going to use the small edge of the knife, um, and I just want to kind of like reshape this right here. All right. I want it to kind of wrap around the corner, I guess. That would perspectively look better. Or respectively look better. Instead of it looked like the waterfall was lifting up out of the sky. All right, let's get some yellow ochre touch of that green I suppose. I guess there's some yellow in there too. That's all right. And just kind of touch around. Put some colors in the sky here. Boom, there, here, there, wherever. Maybe back here needs a few. You can switch the colors up if you want. A little yellow. Just whatever, I mean, just do whatever. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. Or don't let anybody discourage what you're doing. There's a lot of judgmental people out there. <clears throat> They're everywhere. Little grayed brown color. I'm just going to put a little... something there like this little little branch or two just a few little details they're not perfect by far they're not perfect at all you know but maybe uh, maybe having a a branch or two will, you know, kind of help. Uh, somebody will say, oh, look at that branch. It goes right, you know, how nice that branch is or whatever. I'm just dropping a few little areas in here. All right, and I want to keep these areas kind of like, you know, off the radar. I don't want them too, too crazy. And let me just take some white paint here. This is uh, not the right time to do this. 
but just put some white back here. <laughs> that didn't help at all, but okay. Maybe a little blue would have helped. Maybe a little blue. All right, all right. And I guess we could always, you know, a little something, right? A little reflection. Definitely does not look like a reflection, but let's just do this. There we go. That helps a lot, actually. Do the same thing here, like this. The only thing I feel like we need to do is uh, get some of our, you know, darker color in here, and we really do need to darken this up. I just, I don't know why, but I feel like that's necessary. So green, black, blue, right in here, like this. And I'm just going to rub across it. And that might make it feel a little bit more, you know, waterish, watery, waterish. Do the same thing here. And maybe a little bit there too for contrast purposes. Let's see. All right, so when I, st when I stand back, I feel like this ground is going, let me steal a little paint. I feel like it might be going the wrong direction. So I, I definitely want this to be coming downhill. So I'm just stealing some paint at this point, re-angling myself you know, so, so I feel better about where is this going down. So I want it to come up here. All right. Up and then down. Okay. I think we should take a little bit of our bright yellow color that we had white mixed in with a touch of the green, I suppose. And just get a little sliver on here and maybe... You know, maybe there's uh, just a little bit of this light coming through there. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Just here. Just to kind of identify that this is going downhill. All right. Mix some color here. Just a little tiny bit here, there. Lift up on it. Maybe I don't know what that's going to do. Maybe it'll look, at, maybe it'll look like... Uh, grass. Yeah, there we go. Let's do this. Let's tap a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Tapping. Tapping with the knife. All right, so now i got to get some of our yellow and our white again. Yellow, white. Nice, bright, somewhat of a well, it's not so bright. It's mixing with the colors underneath on the palette, but it's bright enough. So I just definitely want to just kind of redefine this here since I just went over it. And I'm just, I'm tapping with the knife. I've never, I've never done that before, but it's like pretty cool because all these things are sticking out at me. And I think that's just totally incredible. It's like a cool texture. When it's dry, you'll have to be careful. It, you don't get uh, cut if you touch it. Yeah, that's so cool. That is cool. Hmm. So I see this area right here. And I think you know, I'm thinking about grabbing some white paint and putting it on there if this works. Well, it's too wet. 
I wonder if some gel would help the situation. Let's see. Yes, it does. Yep. So I just added a little bit of gel um, to that white right there. And it just kind of, I'm just going to blend this in. I just wanted to make it look like there was a little, you know, a little some water rushing through here, maybe. I don't know. Just having fun. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Just some water rushing around. All right. That's all that is. Could be water coming down. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. If you think it's water, it's water. <clears throat> For the sake of contrast, I'm thinking about taking some black and blue and uh, some brown real quick. Getting some on here, and I'm thinking about you know dropping a little bit into here. And his little buddy here. You know, just to see how this looks. I think it looks all right. Nice and dark in the back of the tree, and then it kind of goes to bright color. that. But I feel like if we had a nice light color, like a light, light, light brown color, that could just bring this tree out a little bit more. I know there's a highlight on there already. Let me just drop this down, the trunk right there. See how easy that is to make a tree trunk? Just pull it right down. Well, I'm not sure how to sign this painting. Maybe sign it with a knife or go back with a liner brush, maybe when it dries, and sign it at that point. I hope you guys enjoyed this painting today because I know I enjoyed it and I know that I'm going to get ready to go paint something else here very, very soon because I just love what it does. And if I, if I could just say it one more time, I hope, I hope you guys try it. Even if it's not this, if it's any type of painting, give it a try. If there's something going on in your life right now, I guarantee you do this for a couple of hours, you'll forget about that for those few hours. It may come back afterwards, but the next time you do another picture, it will most certainly go away again. So I wanna thank you for watching again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all those things. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'd be glad to answer them. Take care, I love you guys, have a great day.